Welcome back to the blend fresh off the Mountain West Conference title and their first postseason appearance in nearly a decade. The UNLV Rebels baseball team. They are hungry for more. One week from today, they're going to be hitting the diamond for their opener against the nationally ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers, who I, I hear are on GMOs. Here to tell us more about this exciting new season is head coach Tim Chambers. Tim, how are you, sir? Doing great. How are you? Uh, very well. Congratulations to you. This is a, last year was a great, huge success. You captured the Mountain West Conference title. How, how long had it been? Well, uh, since it, we won the league, it, it's been, it was 11 years. Wow, my goodness. So uh, you got to be feeling pretty good. You got the uh, Mountain West Coach of the Year. How, how does that feel? Ah, I don't pay much attention to that. As I don't coach do it for the hardware. You're only as good as your players <laughs> and your coaches. But, uh, um, you know, when we started this thing, back when we got the job, um, the summer of 2010, um, our mission was to baseball's big in this town to, yeah. to build this thing and to make people proud and to get the local kids here mm -hmm. and get them on our team. And we were able to accomplish that. So that group last year, they went through a lot, mm -hmm. um, ups and downs and ups and downs. And then um, we didn't have the depth that we needed. So we, well, our one, two, three, five hitters and our number one pitcher all were broken bones and wow. broken wrists yeah. and Tommy John surgery. I, I still don't know how we got to a regional, but. Uh, they just kept fighting, but I had to play them every day because we didn't have enough depth. So yeah. um, now we have depth. I think we're better. Um, I think we're continuing to go up, uh, up, up, up. And well, it should happen in this town. It's a baseball town. No question. I'm a huge baseball fan. I'm rooting you guys on. I know you have a lot of players returning this year. You have nine seniors, 12 juniors, but you also have a lot of fresh faces, 11 freshmen joining the team as well. How, is import how important is it to have that, that older influence on the team to be able to guide these younger players? Very important. Um, I had... A number of people last night say, golly, you didn't do anything but sit there with your legs crossed and watch them. I go, because they teach each other. We, 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 we say, go to school, play as hard as you can, and be a good guy. That's pretty much our rules. You need that one peer influence in the clubhouse. Well, the ki if, if the kids don't do what they're supposed to, such as run a fly ball or a ground ball out, mm -hmm. I don't have to say anything, which is a bonus. The older kids say, that ain't how we do it here. Um, and we have some really, really, really good older kids that are great leaders and a, a very, very good freshman class. It's just, we play really fast. It's exciting baseball. People mm -hmm. should come out and see it. It's really good. Getting that first year success after uh, n not so much success in the past several years, that going, coming into a new season with that behind your sails has got to lead to some, some success this season. I would yeah, it's just not enough yeah. for me and mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we wanted to get to the NCAAs and get to a regional, but... Uh, we want to get to Omaha. Of course you do. I don't blame <laughs> so you. do they. So um, it's a great mix of kids. Like I said, a very, very good freshman class and a very good senior and junior class. So um, they'll all blend together um, as we get it going. And um, we did play Nebraska last year. We opened, we, or we played there, and we beat them two out of three. They're ranked a little bit ahead of us in the polls right now. So they're coming to our place, and it's going to be really exciting. What's the Darren Erste is the, mat, the, the, the coach. Okay. Um, I think 15-year big league guy with the Angels. Okay. Center fielder. Yeah. Also a punter at Nebraska and, a, and an outfielder. So really good guy, really good coach, good team. They're going to be tough, uh, but we're, we're excited about it. 15 seconds. Where do we get tickets to go see you play? UNOVTickets.com. Of course. You can get them at the gate. Awesome. Um, it's a, it's, honestly, it's if great If you buy to them watch. online, they're just $5. If you buy them at the gate, they're 8 bucks. So um, more importantly, we've changed all our concessions um, it's much more fan friendly now than it, than it has been in the past, and it's going to be a it's great a experience if you come watch a game. Pleasure having you. Congratulations, having and we're looking forward to this season. I appreciate you. See Coach Chambers and the UNLV Rebels are going to be battling the Nebraska Cornhuskers next Friday at Earl E. Wilson Stadium on UNLV's campus. The games will uh, last through Sunday, and to purchase tickets, just head to one of the websites on your screen or stop by the gate on the day of games. And kids 12 and under, this is the best part, they're free. Hello, stay with us. We'll be back.